All right, hey, what's up guys, Gratuitous here. In this video, I wanna walk you through what is included with my M Audio Oxygen Pro 49 user preset. So after you purchase, you guys will receive this zip file. Inside is the actual user preset, there is the MIDI script, which is free. I just included it here for convenience. And I also included an install video. So the install video shows you how to install the user preset. It shows you how to install the MIDI script. It also shows you how to install it inside of FL Studio and get everything up and running, okay? So by default, I'm just gonna load up a, a, just a random template that they give you, okay? So something over here. And you're gonna see that it loads like this. Out of the box, this does not work well with FL Studio. I had to go through, figure out, you know, how this keyboard can work good with FL Studio. And by purchasing my user template, everything's set up and it's good to go. All right, so for example, when we load up their default template, you can see it's blinking. That means that the tempo sync is set to internal. It needs to be set to external. All the colors are weird. If you go to the, to, uh, the dev the different banks, you can see that no colors change. And for me, it was just like, well, you know, you always want to, um, some type of indicator to know where you are and how you're working. So for example, let me just load up um, the preset that you guys will be purchasing and you're gonna see that it goes uh, orange, okay? So this is the first bank, this is orange. The next bank, we have kind of a blue. The next bank is a green. The next bank is white. You guys can change the colors. I have just set it up this way just for convenience for flowing, all right? So how it works is you have knobs one to eight. When you go to the next bank, now it's nine to 16, okay? Uh, 17 and onward. The same thing with the sliders. So as soon as you go to the next bank, it now it becomes a different knob, now it becomes a different slider. One final thing I will let you know is this does not automatically set up the sliders for you inside of FL Studio. You still have to go and uh, right click and go like link to controller, then you can set things up, okay? For more information for you guys, you guys can look into what's called override generic links. This allows you to permanently set things up. Link to controller is kind of like a temporary way to do it okay so you guys can look into more research on that and also if you want more information on this midi keyboard again i have done an in-depth review of the m audio oxygen pro 49 so if you're still unsure about it i would highly recommend it it's a solid midi keyboard it works well with fl studio and my user preset here just allows you just to get up and running as fast as possible you don't have to do any figuring out you guys can purchase the midi keyboard once it gets delivered, if you guys purchase the user preset, again, you guys will get this download, which includes the user preset, which gets installed into here. You guys will get the MIDI script, which allows you to set up all of your transport buttons. Again, the MIDI script is free. You can get that off of the image line forums. I've put that on there. I wrote this MIDI script, uh, but I include it here so that when you watch the video, everything's included. This install should take you no more than like 10, 15 minutes. All right, so again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach me at hi at itsgratuitous.com. I hope you guys enjoy the M Audio Oxygen Pro 49. It's an awesome MIDI keyboard. And uh, let me know if you have questions.